In this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to use um, two paddles and how to get a very simple game in Pong working. So let's actually have a look at it. Now I've slowed this game down so I can actually uh, play it as I talk. So as you can see uh, the ball's bouncing quite happily off the paddles and if the paddle misses it says which player has won. So let's have a look at some of the changes and most of these changes are just duplicating code. So I've now created a second paddle um, and I've called the first paddle P1 and the second paddle P2, play 1, play 2. I've added um, two new keys for player uh, 2 paddles and notice that I've obviously appended P1 in front of all the paddle stuff. I have coded when the keys are let up, added the move, set it so play 1 can win as well as play 2, and duplicated the uh, collision detection, just literally copy and paste it and tweet it. So this one's got P1, this one's got P2, and I've drawn the paddles here. So as you can see, I'm using the exact same logic for both of them. It doesn't really matter um, however many paddles I had. I could potentially have paddles along the bottom if I wanted kind of a, a four-player pong game. But um, either way, um, this is just showing how to simply get a, a very basic pong game working. Now, in the next few tutorials, we're going to be looking at actually how to make this a bit more involved uh, and a bit easier to code and extend. Uh, but for now, we'll leave it at that.